is here. So yes, uh, we are off to Haley's school. We want to go for what is it called? Parents teacher <laughs> meeting. Uh, basically, to to see how Haley uh, has been doing through this term. They closed school like a week ago. So we are just going to uh, catch up with the teacher, uh, see the the places she needs to improve, how is she doing uh, school-wise and everything. So that's where we are headed. I'm ready. Um, th that's why, what I'm wearing. And that is there. Uh, wearing his shoes. So yes. Let's go to Haley's school. So let's head out. But first, let me show you the outfit of the day. You've seen this outfit before, but I think it's casual. It's good casual for days like on a Saturday. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing and it's very hot. That's why I've decided to wear this sleeveless jacket, denim. show you some items I got and uh, yes and then we'll start cooking so the plan is to cook supper and also uh, make some uh, donuts so I hope you stay tuned and I uh, enjoy the video so I wanted to wait for to open this when I have 
everything I need for the kitchen. I needed to do a refresher, not really a makeover, but uh, a refresher of the kitchen. So I've been buying things one by one, like uh, now these ones. Let me just show you what is inside here. Yeah, I got this from Jumia. Mm -hmm. You can get it from Jumia as well. Mm -hmm. I, re I was really surprised on how affordable, how cheap it was compared to some places I saw online. So, spice rack. Spice rack had three tire spice rack and it was very nice. I think it will fit on my side. A microwave stand. You see? This is how it looks. Yes. So this one was uh, 1600 on Jumia. And this was before you could use any cord. So if you use my cord, I take key, I dash take key, T fine, you will slash 200 shillings. So actually you get it at 1400. And other places I saw it was going for 2000 or 1800. So this one is very nice. As you can see, it's a nice uh, rack for your spices. I think I bought I already opened is a uh, what is it called? Bake pan. <laughs> Bake pan. So it's something I'll be really wanting to buy, you guys. But you see those two things usually postponed every now and then. This was one of them. So I'm lucky I, I'm happy I bought it finally. It's heavy. It's so heavy. Let me open it up. So there are two, they come in two, and they are rectangular, as you can see. Yeah, they are very secure by the way. See, yeah, this is one. It's very good for baking. So you see those two wings, two chicken, I usually bake on the, on the oven. This one would be very nice do that instead of putting them on tins or baking black tins so this one is very nice this one is a smaller one i think two liters and then this is the other one for three liters so it's very heavy very heavy so this one went for 2400 so once you apply the cord you slash 200 so you get it at 2200 yes very nice also it's good for serving food if you want to serve your guests or if you have something too late uh, before serving this one is very nice so you can get it as well i think i'll put the links for these two there so you can check and uh, Yes, you can buy them. Uh, I also bought this. I think I told you guys I bought this also from. Did I tell you? I also bought this from uh, Junior as well. So, yes, this one is very nice. I have been loving this set, and it is. Uh, it was 2500 So, you can get it as well. Also, this thermos. I'm filling you in on random stuff. I have I've been buying one by one in my kitchen. Also, this this one I got on an offer. It was nine ninety eight. Yes, on Junior. So I added my cord and got it at seven something. Imagine, yeah. So this one as well. You can get it there. I think right now is around uh, is around eleven hundred. Yes, eleven hundred. So if you slice, you'll get it at around nine hundred slice with the cord also this one but they have the three tire one you can get this as well from uh, them this one actually i got it from carrefour they do not have a three tire i did not see a three tire but i really wanted a three tire surprisingly enough jumia has it they have the three tire but i had already gotten this from carrefour so it's okay you can also check this one out if you want it. I wanted something to organize my 
my stuff here so i want to show you is uh, this one i don't know if you can see it's like a uh, silicone is it silicone or plastic a plastic cutlery organizer this one i got from this one i got from house of leather yes house of leather and it was uh 1500 yeah so this organizer i want to replace the one that is here as you can see it's a blue one and i don't like it that much it doesn't it's, it, it looks busy so i want to replace this one with this yeah so those are the stars i think i've talked too long no my my eyes they are a little red from uh, sleeping so yes i want to boil this uh, minced meat and then we can start cooking so let me just start yes let's start the video So for the donut, I'll be using uh, margarine, vanilla essence, some salt, uh, sugar, uh, instant yeast, and uh, baking flour, and uh, four eggs, and a packet of milk. So I've already warmed the milk in the microwave for a few minutes, like let's say one minute, it's warm. And I realized the camera was not running. So what I have put here is uh, five cups of five tablespoons of sugar and uh, two tablespoons of uh, yeast. So I'm just stirring that up. So you need to stir it un until all the sugar has dissolved in the milk. And I think in this recipe, I do not put enough uh, enough yeast, considering the how much the dough was. So I think you could, you if I had put uh, like three tablespoons, it could have been better. But yeah. So next, I'm going to warm uh, or to melt this uh, margarine, uh, two spoonfuls of uh, margarine. I'll put it in the microwave for like uh, 40 seconds and then it will melt then i'll pour it in i'll add vanilla essence like i uh, have a tablespoon of vanilla essence and then i'll add the eggs the four eggs So I decided to add the remaining milk that was in the packet. So basically I used one packet of milk. So I just poured it in in the solution and then I added some salt and a little bit of sugar because of the added milk, like uh, two spoonfuls of sugar. And then I'll mix everything up until all the eggs have been, uh, yes, they've been beaten well. Oh 
So at this point the door is uh, hard enough and uh, now you can uh, put it uh, on the surface so that you can uh, knead it well. So at this point I called my hubby to help me with this as I prepare the other ingredients to cook uh, supper. So while he was doing that I was cutting the onions, uh, the tomatoes and uh, what I'll be using for supper. So So you need to knead or uh, to work on it until it's soft this will take around five to seven minutes so until it's uh, soft soft like so so now it's ready i will put it aside So once I'm done with that, I'll start preparing uh, the other ingredients I will need for supper. So for supper, I'll be using these um, hot dogs. I don't know if you'll come for me again by using the word hot dogs. <clears throat> but I'll be using uh, this. That's the way I'll be cutting them. And then uh, at this point, my babies were are really impatient with the donuts and everything they wanted donuts but because they could not have them they went for the bananas so i'll just uh, be straight to the point with this one i've cooked this meal before so it's not something new so i will list uh, the ingredients i'll be using on the screen but basically i I fried the hot dogs in a shallow or just a small amount of oil until they are golden brown and then I added the minced meat. The minced meat was boiled so I wanted them to be crunchy enough. So after cooking that now you will add the other onions and uh, any other spices you want. You see this is the way you want them to look and then on the, on the other sufuria the is it pasta the pasta is boiling so after boiling for like eight minutes you wash them with cold water so that they don't uh, start breaking or overcook so that's basically it it's a very simple meal and uh, my family loves it so much Every time we say goodbye, they 
So at this point you can add cheese if you if you are a cheese person but uh, normally in our household we don't love like cheese unless it is with bread or it's toasted bread so I'll pass a uh, uh, cheese uh, part so if you have you can pour it at this point and our supper is uh, ready so it turned out so well it was not uh, dry it was uh, moist enough
Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back to when trees were sworn. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. So I was basically very tired that evening. I did not uh, make the donut that night. So I decided to make it the next day. So I stored it in the fridge. I covered it well and then stored it in the fridge for the next morning. So from here, I'm just going to spread the dough and then cut it into, into round pieces using a cup. I still do not have a donut cutter, but I, sh I will look for it. I don't know where to get it. If you know where I can get it, please uh, uh, comment on the comments below so that I can uh, get the donut cutter, which will be a great help for me. I love We love donuts in this house so this is how i'll be cutting them and then after that i'll just put them uh in uh, hot oil so the oil should not be too hot make sure it's not too hot because they'll start burning before they cook they can cook also the dough should not be too thin some i had uh, made that uh, be so thin but it should not be too thin like this 
yes it should not be too thin the dough should not be too thin so if it's too thin you leave it for another like uh, 30 minutes for them to puff up and then you can start cooking them so check the oil if it's hot enough and then you can start putting the donuts so what i usually do after putting it the first time i turn them over so that they don't crack and then i'll cook them until they are golden brown from both sides they all see that it's a lie because we always give it one last try yeah you've watched me break a thousand times now i'm all alone because you never show you say you will but then you So in case you're wondering all these donuts for one person i also included mine here so don't uh, don't worry so that's it for today's video thank you so much if you stay tuned uh, till the end if you haven't subscribed please do so and also remember to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post for my followers uh, thank you so much and i'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!